Brad, you know, last week he announced that Mar-a-Lago he's running again in 2024. It was a slightly more muted atmosphere than it was in 1516 as that campaign picked up. Ron DeSantis, 44 years old, a different generation uh, in prospect, not just for the Republican Party, but for American politics, which frankly looks something I to us on this side of the pond. We can't believe everyone's over 75. I mean, it's extraordinary. Can he beat DeSantis in the primaries? I think so. He's done it on the national stage before, winning the primaries in 2016 and 2020. Obviously, he won in 2016 the general against Hillary Clinton. Yep. And now with polling for 2024, it shows that he's beating Joe Biden in Arizona, Wisconsin, and Georgia, tied up in Pennsylvania. Nigel, there are two keys coming out of the speech, though, to make sure folks in the UK here understand what he was trying to accomplish. One was motivate his base, show that he's the anti-Washington yep. guy. He could deliver that message in 2016. It was harder in 2020 because he was in the White House. Tough to say you're an outsider when you're in the White House. The second thing, though, and to your point about maybe the conversation seemed mm. a little bit more muted. Mm. He had to make sure that he connected with voters on the economy, on inflation, didn't talk about past grievances, looked forward. There was a deliberate move. And I don't say that just because I helped to work with him uh, on the product, but I think it was very focused. So less about the stolen election, you mean? There wasn't anything about it. In, the, in his remarks on Tuesday, it was completely forward-looking. He made a crack a little bit about 2016 or 2020, but it was forward-looking. And I would much rather have the criticism be that maybe it was a little bit more muted than to say he was okay. addressing... Uh, no, no, grievances. Father, you're clearly still a big fan. I know, I know he's a great friend of yours. Now, this, folks, this is astonishing. This is astonishing. Think about this. India is a country with over a billion people in it. They are the largest functioning democracy in the world. They hold general elections. They get a result within five hours. Maricopa County in Arizona, where I was, if you remember, two weeks ago, will be announcing the final result of the elections on November the 28th. Jason, is America now a banana republic? It's a little embarrassing uh, for all embarrassing. the things embarrassing. It's uh, for all the things we do right as a country. Uh, this is pretty bad. You look, almost every other civilized country can get them done immediately. The fact that some places California isn't called. It's not just Arizona. In Arizona, by the way, the Republican governor, Republican. Mm. Uh, well, now it's going to be a Democratic governor, mm. but it's been a Republican governor in charge. Republican legislature haven't been able to get their act together. If Republicans don't figure out what went wrong in 2020, address those. Whether it's get it to the same day voting paper ballots or become experts and beat the Democrats at their own game, we're going to lose again in 2024. It is that critical, because right now the playing field is still well, like this. I have to say, Jason, I have to say, look, it looked at from here. Uh, the whole thing looks absolutely ridiculous. Thank you for your thoughts, your comments. We're going to watch Elon Musk. We're going to watch Twitter. I know you're a competitor, but, you know, if you believe in free speech, we'd love him to succeed. Whether he will remains to be seen. Whether Trump goes back on the platform also remains to be seen.